Hello friends, today in this video I am going to discuss about the MCQs on general microbiology and this is the fourth part of series of 500 MCQs on general microbiology. Okay, so let's start the question answer session for general microbiology. So the first question is which of the following agent interfere with membrane structure? Options are phenols, so soap and detergents, organic solvents or all of the above. And the right answer is right answer is option D that is all of the above and all these chemical agents are act as a surface reactive chemical agents. So when we add these surface reactive chemical agents on the lipid bilayer or lipid membrane they destabilize the lipid structure okay in this way so next question move on, move on to the next question that is the phenol coefficient is used to test water contamination determine the efficacy of a disinfectant determine the nature of disinfectant sterilize suspensions by diluting in phenol and the right answer is option B that is determine the efficacy of a disinfectant and this phenol coefficient test determines how much one disinfectant is effective in comparison to phenol here phenol is that standard disinfectant okay and other disinfectants test disinfectants are uh, used to see how uh, how effective they are by this phenol coefficient test so here the phenol coefficient test compares the effectiveness of disinfectants. So these, these are the test di disinfectants and phenol is the standard. And these are the organisms, test organisms, Staphylococcus aureus and Salmonella enterica. So phen the phenol coefficient, phenol coefficient of phenol is 1 but other uh, <coughs> disinfectant like chloramine is uh, chloramine's uh, phenol coefficient value is 133 so chloramine is 133 more effective than phenol okay so move on to the next question that is tindalization is carried out at 100 degrees celsius for 20 minutes on three successive days 90 degrees celsius for 20 minutes on three successive days 80 degrees celsius for 20 minutes on three successive days or none of the above and the right answer is option a that is 100 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes on three successive days. And this tindalization process is discovered by John Tyndall, who disapproved the spontaneous generation by this tindalization process. And this tindalization proce process is also called fractional sterilization. So the tindalization pro process is a heating process where heating made heating material at 100 degrees celsius on three successive days with incubation period in between and resistant spores germinate during the incubation period on subsequent exposure and then the vegetative cells will be destroyed by the next heating okay and the instrument used for the tindalization is steam arnold okay so move on to the next question that is Pure culture is a growth of a single organism belonging to the same order or same family or same genus or same species and the right answer is option D that is same species and here we can see that this is a colony these are the colonies of microorganism and in a single colony same species of microorganisms are present many microorganisms are present in a single colony who are present who are belonging to the same species okay and in a single colony more than more than 10 million or 10 to the power 7 individual cells are present in a single colony who are belonging to the same species so move on to the next question that is percentage of agar agar used for the solidification of culture media is 0.1%, 0.5%, 1.5% or 4% and the right answer is option C that is 1.5% and this is the normal nutrient agar media and these are the compositions of nutrient agar media where peptone, beef extract, sodium chloride, agar and sterile water is present. So next question is percentage of agar agar in Loeffler serum slope is 0.2%, 1%, 2% or nil. And the right answer is option D that is nil. So in Loeffler serum slope 
there is no agar is used so move on to the next question that is percentage of blood used in the preparation of blood agar is 1% 5% or 20% or 50% and the right answer is option b that is 5% blood is used in the preparation of blood agar and the composition of blood agar is tripton phyton or soiton soiton or NaCl agar and distilled water this is the basic composition and this basic composition containing containing this uh, this amount heat with agitation to dissolve this agar and autoclave it for 15 minutes at 121 degrees celsius and then cool it to 50 degrees celsius and after that after cooling to 50 degrees celsius then we add 5 ml of defibrinated sheep red blood cells to 100 ml malted agar okay and then mix and pour 20 ml portion into the sterile petri dish okay so and this is the blood agar plate so move on to the next that is bile broth is an enrichment medium or enriched medium or a transport medium or an anaerobic medium and the right answer is option a that is an enrichment medium bile broth is an enrichment medium and what is enrichment media a liquid culture media to which certain substances are added which enhance the growth of the pathogenic organisms and suppress the unwanted bacteria and the examples are selenite f broth for salmonella typhi alkaline pectin water for vibrio cholerae so these are the examples of enrichment media and what is the use of enrichment media to prevent the non pathogenic or commensal bacteria for from overgrowing the pathogenic bacteria so next move on to the next question that is enrichment media are designed to increase the number of all species in the media distinguish between different species select microbial species that are fastidious and increase the number of a species outnumbered by unwanted species and the option is d so enrichment media are designed to increase the number of a species outnumbered the unwanted species okay so move on to the next that is McConkey's agar is a selective medium or differential medium or both selective and differential medium or none of the above and the right answer is option c that is both selective and differential medium and this this is the difference of selective medium and differential medium selective media is a special media that inhibit growth of unwanted bacteria and encourage the growth of desired bacteria and a differential media media that allow you to distinguish between two type of bacteria like gram positive gram negative and growing on a plate as usually by color of colonies or growth pattern okay so move on to the next that is indicator present in McConkey's media is neutral red or bromothymol blue or phenol red or acid fusion and the right answer is option a that is neutral red and the this is the composition of McConkey's agar and this is the color of the McConkey agar plate okay and here neutral red is added as a indicator so move on to the next question that is McConkey's agar help to distinguish lactose fermenters h2s producer oxidase producer or sucrose fermenters and the right answer is option a that is lactose fermenters and next question is colonies of lactose fermenters on McConkey's medium appear pink or yellow or black or colorless so the right answer is option a that is pink so lactose fermenters on McConkey's media appear as pink color like this okay so this is the lactose fermenting colonies pink and non lactose fermenting colonies are colorless here okay you can see so move on to the next question that is deoxycholate citrate agar is an enriched media or an enrichment media or a selective media or a transport medium right answer is option c that is a selective media deoxycholate citrate agar is a selective media and it is suitable for isolation of dysentery bacilli food poisoning salmonella and salmonella paratyphi or as like this okay 
so this is the color of the deoxycholate citrate agar which is also used for the uh, selection of shigella microorganisms okay shigella pathogen so move on to the next that is wilson and blair is a selective medium for neisseria vibrio shigella or salmonella right answer is option d that is for salmonella selective media for salmonella and this is an indicator medium for wilson and blair medium and indicated by chance of color sulfide to sulfide in wilson medium and s type reduces sulfide to sulfide in the presence of glucose okay and which of the following is not a differential medium that is uh, options are telluride medium eosin methylene blue agar muller hinton agar or mcconkey's agar so the differential medium is option c that is muller hinton agar is a differential medium and this is the this is the picture of the muller hinton agar plate okay and it is the muller hinton agar with 5% sheep blood and this is also used for the antibiotic sensitivity test move on to the next that is antibiotic sensitivity testing using paper disc is a pore plate method ditch plate method stab culture method or lawn culture method and the right answer is option d that is lawn culture method and here this is the kirby by disc diffusion method for antibiotic sensitivity test so here is a inoculating plate like muller hington media and here we add the antibiotic disc here antibiotic disc and then measure and here all the antibiotics are different types of antibiotics are added and then after incubation we measure the zone of inhibition of every microorganisms okay so here in this way we can test the antibiotic sensitivity of the microorganism so move on to the next that is antibiotic sensitivity test makes use of disc of diameter of 4 4 millimeter or 6 millimeter or 8 millimeter or all of the above and the right answer is option b that is 6 millimeter okay so disc like this here the disc size is 6 millimeter okay so move on to the next a bacterial growth medium that contains penicillin is a minimum media or selective medium or differential medium or complex medium and the right answer is option b that is selective medium next one is indicator present in sugar based medium is andrets indicator neutral red or malachite green or bromothymol blue and the right answer is option a that is andrets andrets indicator is used for sugar based medium next one is nutrient broth is a special medium or an enriched medium or a simple medium or an enrichment medium right answer is option c that is a simple medium and this is the composition of nutrient broth that is beef extract nacl peptone and double distilled water move on to the next question that is robertson's cooked meat medium is an anaerobic sorry aerobic medium or an anaerobic medium or a sugar based medium or a differential medium right answer is option b that is an anaerobic medium robertson cooked meat medium is a aerobic medium and this medium this medium provide a favorable environment for the growth of anaerobes okay so move on to the next that is Chocolate agar is an example of a selective medium, a differential medium, an enrichment medium or an enriched medium. Right answer is option D that is an enriched medium. Enriched medium and enrichment medium they are different. In enriched medium and one specific nutrient is added to enrich the, uh, to enrich the media composition. So here chocolate agar with the addition of Bacitracin becomes selective most cytrically for the genus Haemophilus and another variant of chocolate agar called th 
higher martin agar contain an assortment of antibiotics which select the neisseria species so for hemophilus and neisseria species the chocolate agar is used okay and this is a enriched medium where nutrients are added extra okay so next move on to the next that is triple sugar iron agar is a type of transport medium or simple medium or composite medium or selective medium so triple sugar iron agar is a composite medium that is option c and this triple sugar iron triple sugar means here three sugars are present for the growth of bacteria so the sugars are lactose sucrose and glucose and here also iron is present okay so move on to the next question that is the sugar not present in the triple sugar iron medium is lactose maltose glucose sucrose already we know the answer is option b that is maltose maltose is, is not present in triple sugar iron medium because lactose glucose and sucrose is present okay thank you for watching this video